how do you remember the muscles ready for exam day? Now, not everybody is okay at being able to just use the manual. Some people also need to have something physical that they can relate to when they get into the exam room. And the best way to do that is to physically draw it on you. Now, you can't leave that drawing on there and you can't go and get it tattooed on there, but it's a good way of remembering it because you'll be taking your body into the exam room. It's a good way of anchoring it to yourself. So I've drawn the four quadriceps on here, but I've only drawn three of them. I'll explain why in a minute. You've got four quadriceps. One is the vastus medialis. Remember this because the medialis part suggests it's closer to the midline. Then you've got the vastus lateralis on the outside. And this is, remember this, because everything lateral is always on the outside. Think like a lateral raise when you do that. It's on the outside of the body. And then you've got your rectus femoris. This is the biggie. Now, the femoris, remember, is, relates to the, the femur, which is your thigh bone. And it's really responsible for extension of the knee and also flexion of the hip. So it's a big, strong muscle down through the middle. And you can actually see that on here. Big, strong muscle. Now, there is one more muscle, and that is directly underneath here. Vastus intermedialis is quite deep. And that's a way to remember that. It's another vastus, just like these two either side. But it's in the middle of those two vastus, right in the middle. So vastus medialis, vastus intermedialis underneath. Vastus lateralis and a rectus femoris. Sounds fantastic. Now, I would love to see your own images of this. So get your book out, start mapping across where that is on your body, and then pop a little selfie and tag us into it at Parallel Coaching. If you're on Instagram, at Parallel Coach, tag us in. I would love to see your selfie drawings of your muscle revision. Have a great day and let me see those selfies. Take care.